Hi, I'm Luann Hammond, DriveInTheNation.com. I'm here with Wolfgang Hellman. He is going to be our museum guide tonight at the Mercedes Museum in Stuttgart, Germany. 1886, now Karl Benz, the gentleman who came up with a two-stroke engine, he <coughs> presented his first motor vehicle. Gottlieb Daimler and Karl Benz, they were definitely not satisfied with their driving stability, in particular with a three-wheeler. As we know, when you are going too fast in a curve with a three-wheeler, this sooner or later will collapse. Having uh, both front vehicles on this one here, individually linked to the chassis, and due to the fact that <coughs> here, in particular when you are going in a curve, the inner wheel can follow a different radius than the outer wheel. <coughs> the driving stability and the, uh, the cornering speed was much higher. Even due to the fact that the vehicle has had here uh, on the right and on the left a radiator, the engine was constantly overheating. This was the reason why he was fitting an auxiliary radiator, but even this couldn't solve the problem. With this next vehicle from Carl Benz, <coughs> idea was to produce vehicles in a higher number. From this vehicle, he was able to sell within three years 1,200 vehicles. Carl Benz came then even up here with this omnibus, but due to the fact that the road conditions at that time were so bad, the vehicle not uh, designed for this purpose. Gottlieb Daimler and Karl Benz never met each other. Each other was quite aware what the other one was doing. But did they ever meet each other? Never, ever. So with this vehicle here, Gottlieb Daimler came up and he was calling it, due to the seat arrangement, vis-a-vis, -vis, which means face-to-face, but as people uh, realized pretty soon, this was not a good idea because whenever guests uh, or a passenger has been taken, the driver was not able anymore to watch to the street. This vehicle now has had now the first time the engine fitted in the front in order to balance the weight. The payload of this vehicle was at that time quite high, 1,200 kilo. So shortly before the end of the century, Carl Benz was able to come up here with a new development. And due to the seat arrangement, he was calling this vehicle Dosado, which means back to back. And therefore, the vehicle could be made much more compact.